first thing you need to do is to measure the height of your door and then you halve that measurement and it will tell you how long you need your gas strut. We need to mark the P dimension of the door. This dimension will be from the centre of the hinge to the centre of the top of the gas strut. And for this gas strut it will be 160 millimetres. The next dimension we need to sort out is the S dimension. In this case we'll make it 40 millimetres from the back of the door to the top pivot point of the gas strut. The S dimension needs to be greater than the T dimension so that the door is actually closed by the gas strut. And this bottom T dimension we will make 25 millimetres. We've made the bracket up so now we'll just fit it. Now we will fit the gas strut just making sure we have the body of the gas strut at the top. Now we just need to fit the door in the up position that we want the door to be in. The next thing we need to do is to mount the bottom of the gas strut in the correct position. This will have a 25mm T dimension from the back of the door position. And we'll have to make up a bracket that's mounted in that position there. Now we will just mount the bracket. Now we'll just tighten the gas strut. This gas strut has too much pressure in it. It has 65 kgs of pressure. We're going to reduce the pressure in the gas strut and we're going to open this valve and shut it as fast as we can. We'll do 10 opens and shuts on this side and then we'll go to the other side and do 10 opens and shuts. If you let too much gas out of the gas strut, the door will drop and you will have to get your gas strut re-gassed. 